Hi, good morning, everybody. 1 Corinthians 15, 53 says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. This corruption must put on in incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Now, it's interesting. Paul here was talking about the resurrection of our bodies, and the Corinthian church was, they were stumped over this one. They were confused. They were listening to false doctrine. They couldn't and wouldn't obey the simple teaching of Jesus Christ died, was a literal man, real man, flesh and blood, died on a cross, was buried, rose again bodily. And the teaching was because Jesus rose again bodily, Jesus promised that we will rise again bodily. And Paul makes this whole argument for the resurrection and that God's involved in this and God can certainly do what he says he can do. And he gives the proof if God rose Jesus from the dead, then we're going to rise from the dead. And he uses the word must here and it's very powerful. He goes, our bodies are corruption, corruptible. They, they're frail. They're subject to decay, disease, pain, suffering. He goes, it's corruption. And we become more corrupted physically as we grow older. And he goes, but this corruption must put on incorruption. We must put on a body that cannot be corrupted. And then it says this mortal, we're mortal beings. That means we can die. There's an end to us. There's an end to our physical lives. But this mortal must, I love the wording. It's not should or could or would. It's must. Must put on immortality. And he uses this wording because God's involved. And when God keeps a promise, makes a promise, he keeps a promise. And he goes, you, you're mortal, you believe in Jesus, you'll be immortal. You're corruptible, but if you believe in Jesus, you'll be incorruptible. And there's coming a day, brothers and sisters in Christ, that this mortal body will be resurrected, never to decay again. Never to get old, never to get gray, never to feel pain. I don't know how that's going to happen. But if God's involved, I believe it. So listen, the sufferings of this world are not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us when we're with Jesus resurrected. God bless.